Where are we going, guys? To our new house. Yay, yeah, you excited? Yeah. 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 All our stuff in the back. Well, we're going to have to do a few loads, but yeah. we're very blessed You're to okay. have to do a few loads because it means we've already got lots of stuff. How do we accumulate this much stuff already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you excited? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So this is our new neighborhood. <laughs> so having this house has just been the greatest blessing. I really felt like when we were coming here that God had lined up a house for us. And gosh, like if this isn't the house God lined up for us, there's a lot of coincidences and strange things going on. So even the fact that we were able to find a place within a week of moving here was pretty incredible. Um, originally we were only staying for six months so we had to find somewhere that would let us do a six month lease and that's pretty impossible to find but we did find it even though we ended up signing a 12 month <laughs> lease but yeah just that was also a miracle. Um, our finances worked out a little differently than what we had expected and as a result we could not afford sort of a lot of places around we just couldn't afford them and if we were going to afford something it was certainly not going to be anything big and you know um, the kids were probably all going to end up squished in the one room or something like that and being from the west you know we're used to having bigger houses and kids having their own rooms we knew that that probably wasn't going to be an option when we got here but it, I did want to try to give my eldest daughter her own room because she was very adamant that she didn't want to share with anyone so we were trying to make that happen so we were really looking for something that was at least a three bedroom house and so we started looking everything was sort of outside of our price range and anyway through a friend of Wolfgang's we were told about this house that we came and had a look at and oh, just perfect in so many ways like uh, so we're in the city and me moving to a city area um, it was quite difficult for me in a lot of ways like I definitely prefer living in the country I love bush um, I just feel real really um, suffocated in um, lots of busyness and buildings and stuff and I certainly feel very refreshed being among trees and flowers and all those kinds of things <clears throat> but we are in the city so I just had to be like well you know I don't have that anymore and a lot of the houses that we looked at were sort of more like apartments so they didn't have gardens or yards or you know anything for the kids to run around in but anyway we come to this place and there's a little driveway and it's like um, almost like a little um, block of units um, on a bit of land so there's gardens and there's trees there's fruit trees which I've always loved the idea of living in a house with fruit trees so you can just go out and pick stuff so this kind of here is just a shared garden most important rule is that without mommy and daddy don't go out that day okay yeah, but it, but... and so i immediately just loved that and yet the fact that there was places that the kids could run around in and they weren't like like a lot of the houses here you walk out the front door and you're pretty much directly on the road so obviously for children that's not particularly safe but here they could just run around all over the place and it was there were driveways but it's not a road so as long as our neighbors don't run them over you know we should be all good anyway then we walk up to the house and there is um some writing painted on the front of the house and the sign says um music therapy house which is super cool oh that was just like the sign to me because yeah like music is why we've come here um we've just come out of uh, a really difficult time for our family and we sort of feel like we need some rejuvenation and therapy <laughs> it spoke to me <laughs> and yeah then we come in and the house is like really big really spacious it's four bedroom and the rooms are really big so we knew that we could divide up the kids rooms essentially the two bedrooms upstairs would be like four bedrooms and Rachel has always wanted to live in a house with stairs and it has stairs <laughs> okay yeah look at that our house is twice the size 
Yeah, this will be mine and Daddy's bedroom. I want, I want the butterfly. I want the one with the. This is the one with the butterflies. So sorry, it's been taken. <laughs> but we can put butterflies on your room. And this. Yeah, guys. This. Yeah, well, this is going to be Daddy's studio. So this is just out the side. Okay, do you guys want to see upstairs? Yes. Now, you've got to be a bit careful because some of the floorboards are a bit funny. <laughs> oh, Matt, Jessica may need help getting up these stairs. So, yeah, if you look here, guys, these will be your room. Rachel, I reckon you'll probably be in here. Maybe Rachel and Ben. That one isn't good. Okay. Well, it's a good thing you guys don't weigh very much. That floorboard's gonna Oops. need to be replaced. Yeah. What do you guys think? This one. Yay! <laughs> there, and a bit like a couch over here. Yeah, we could. I like the couch idea. It's gonna be on the kids' lounge. No pants are mm. up the stairs. It's the kids' oh. lounge. Okay. Well, that means you guys are responsible for keeping it clean if I'm not allowed up here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, fine. You're allowed up here to clean it for us. Yeah, and great. Thanks, Ben. To sleep. If we were in those, then we could just go down to someone them. else's house. Yeah. They have a blue one. Yeah, yeah. we'll climb out on that roof, though. Pretty sure oh, that's asbestos. <laughs> yeah, probably working. Oh, wonderful! And did you guys see the cool tiles on the roof? Oh, so <laughs> yeah. Oh, It's a nice stone table. That's okay. Zoe's found a mango. <laughs> See, aren't these flowers pretty? Ooh, yeah. And one of the huge blessings has been our neighbours. So there's lots of other people who live on this little block of land and uh, yeah, they're all very friendly. Our landlord in particular, oh my goodness, she gives us so much stuff. We're thinking like, our entire rent just comes back to us in the things that she gives us. Like she buys us food almost every day or, you know, just brings us some food, like something that she's made or um, some mangoes that she's picked off the tree and, you know, she'll go to market and she'll just grab something for us as well. And she bought my son a bike the other day. She took my um, youngest daughter to the markets and bought her a dress. And oh yeah, so she's just absolutely lovely doesn't speak any English so I'm really gonna have to work on my Thai so I can actually talk to her but she loves our kids as well uh, quite often Jessica will go missing and yeah she'll be over at Samai's house yeah Samai slowly won her trust by giving her food <laughs> her and another lady that lives just across the road have asked that the children call them Kunyai which is grandma yeah, it's really special to me that even though the kids are now away from family and they don't have their grandparents, that they kind of have grandparents and yeah, I think that's really special and they're lovely and yeah, so they love the kids, the kids love them, especially Jessica. Oh, she gets so spoiled. Yeah, our neighbour directly off across here, her name's Dolly and she's actually a Christian and that was just like... Wow, because there's not that many Christians in Konkan, so just the coincidence that one would live like just across the road. Um, and yeah, she's a big blessing to me because she does actually speak a bit of English. Yeah, enough to certainly be able to hold a conversation with. But the reason why that is particularly handy to me is not so that I can understand her, but so that she can help me learn Thai. So I can have conversations with her and just be like, oh, okay, so what does this word mean or how do I say this? And yet she's able to tell me. So the location is another perfect thing about this place. So we are like two kilometers from the heart of the city. And we are also close to Wolfgang and Diane. Right up the streets are the markets for getting like fruit and veg in the morning and dinner at night. And Quarter past seven and the market's nice and busy in the morning. And I've come down to get bananas for smoothies and eggs for our breakfast. And just on the corner is the Lotus, which is like um, a little grocery store, I guess. So we can get you know, milk and bread and that kind of thing just from there. Um, it's just a few shops up. So yeah, absolutely love the location we live in. 
And when we were told how much the rent was, I actually thought that we had heard them wrong. Like, it was a quarter of what we were looking at paying, and therefore well within our budget. And Cosmetically, it doesn't look great like it looks kind of what most people would say is sort of old and crummy and truly that does not bother me at all like I know for some people it would be really depressing or they just wouldn't like it honestly I just don't even notice and it's like yeah if that wall looks really that bad I'll just put a poster up yeah I may as well show you the good the bad and the ugly so you know with the roof's not a hundred percent I love this, you know, they've tried to fix it. <laughs> and up there. So, in terms of what was important to us and what wasn't important to us, this was ticking, like, all the boxes. Oh, and we have an air conditioner. Oh. There was a bit of termite damage and a few things that needed to be fixed. I think part of the reason we got this place so cheap is, um, yeah, it's a bit of termite damage there. So this one's freaking me out because if the kids fall through here, they'll fall down the stairs. So we're... In the process of fixing that right now. Yes, definitely fixing these today. Wolfgang's so funny. I came up the stairs and I'm like, uh, is this safe? And he's like, yeah, yeah, just don't walk on those floorboards. <laughs> okay, thanks. In Thailand, once you take on your lease, you are responsible to fix everything. It's not up to the landlords. So obviously in Australia we're used to, you tell your landlord something's wrong and they fix it. Um, that's not the way it is here. So yeah, we just got in and fixed up what needed to be done. So the upstairs floorboards and stuff, my husband was able to do that. Wolfgang helped him out, thank you. And yeah, they were just able to get up there, get some wood and replace the floorboards. Like yeah, no big deal. And we've replaced some floorboards, like the worst of them. and. Like there, we've just put a board over there. Um, I mean, it's still not perfect. There's like, yeah, the floorboards still move a fair bit. <laughs> but it's a heck of a lot better than it was. And yeah, as you can see, there's still some bits that aren't great. But you can walk on it and not feel like you're gonna fall through. So it's all a couple of little other things we fixed up, but you know, nothing really. They have an air conditioner too, but we haven't got that blowing out cool air yet. Yeah, as you can see, you know, it's, but we've got great fly screens, which is good. However, then I realized we've got like quite a significant gap in the door. So the mosquitoes are still getting in. So we're gonna have to get mosquito nets for the um, kids to have for sleeping. And the one thing I was concerned about is because it is a little bit um, falling apart in some places, I was a little bit worried that when the rainy season hit, it was going to leak really badly. And it's like, well, if it does, we'll just try to plug up the holes as best as possible and put down buckets. Like, you know, that's just what we'll do. Anyway, we've had quite a few heavy dumps of rain now. No leaks at all. Like, I am amazed and impressed and really relieved. So yeah, this house is just working out great for us.